welcome to a new vlog. Today I am at the cinema to watch Thor: Love and Thunder. So when I get back, I'll give you guys a review, a full-on review of Thor: Love and Thunder. So let's get going. I hope you like the review. I'm mostly here because of the review. And one thing, spoilers are ahead. So if you haven't saw Thor: Love and Thunder, then skip this video right now and go and watch it, and then come back because there's gonna be big, big, big spoilers. So come on, come on. guys so now i'm going to watch the movie we'll come after the movie okay So I just watched the movie. It's epic. I'm gonna get back home and tell you guys a review. And remember, spoilers will be here. So go watch the movie first. Okay? Okay? Got it? I'll see you. Hey guys. So you can see I just came back from watching Thor: Love and Thunder. I really, really, really loved the movie. It was so good of a movie. But I think you should watch it separately from the MCU in total, like its own movie. And then when you get back home, then look at all the things you saw in the MCU related. I say it's not like a normal MCU movie. MCU movies are way more detailed. This is way more jokey, jokey. Okay, so let's get started with the talk. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the villain. The villain is God, and the backstory was really awesome. His uh, everybody died of his, and then he saw a God, but and he but he was ungrateful. The God was ungrateful. Every God that except for Thor, and then he got his, some sword. I'm not gonna tell the name. And then he just killed the god. And did you see that the god is blood is golden? Yeah, and it was very cool. But for the rest of the movie, they just showed him as a lunatic. Like they could have done better with God, but they didn't. And by the way, if you're asking who in the world is God, it's Christian Bale. You know, Batman, The Dark Knight. I guess you do. Is that the best Batman movie? And yeah, God is very good for us. And uh, his daughter's name is Love. At the end, he uh, made a wish. He only had one wish, and he wished for uh, his uh, daughter to come back, named Love. And I really like that. Instead of killing all gods, which he wanted to do at the start, but then uh, he died, and Jane also died. Okay, so let's talk about the plot. What I liked and what not. The plot is a little difficult to understand. Like why Mjolnir is with J 
Jane. It's because uh, Thor said to protect Jane all the time, so it's doing that. But while protecting it, uh, she has cancer, so her cancer is getting stronger. And at the end, she dies. Like, of course, she drained all her power out at the end like, to save Thor. And uh, I mean, it's a very fun movie. Like, Gore, he looked so scary. Every time I saw him, I was, I, I almost peed my pants. Every time I saw him, I peed my pants. Like, he was so, so scary. Like, I can't believe anybody's scarier than him. I think he might be above Voldemort at fifth. And you know how much I think how strong Voldemort is. And like, the plot is so good. It's so good. My favorite part were the screaming quotes, of course. They brought back a 10-year-old me. They brought back a 10-year-old me. And it was so funny. Every time, it, I laughed. But I don't like that there was too many jokes and they didn't hit as much as Ragnarok. I think Thor Ragnarok is way better. Uh, but it's my opinion. You guys tell me what you guys think. Is Love and Thunder better? Or is Thor Ragnarok better? Dark World? Which is your favorite MCU movie by the way? Mine's got to be Endgame. Like, what can defeat that? Okay, back to Thor. Jane's death was kind of unnecessary but I get it she had cancer in the last fight but I wish she didn't and remember this part this part was one of my favorites when uh, Gore said Lady Thor or something and then Jane said it's Mighty Thor and if you can't say that then say Dr. Jane Foster so good so good and I hope Jane returns as a multiverse character. Maybe she's in the multiverse. But I don't want that dark world Jane. I want the love and thunder Jane. The dark world one is stupid. Stupid. Utter garbage. Nobody wants to see the dark world. It's because Jane and Thor. This movie flop. Flop like a magic card in Pokemon. Okay, so Love and Thunder is like, it can't go that big. Like, I like the part where Thor hits Zeus and uh, the most fun part was when Zeus ordered Hercules to destroy Thor. That's gonna be so fun to watch Thor fight. And I'm gonna talk about the future, what I want in the future, which is gonna be very fun. I'm not only gonna talk about Thor fight, but I'm gonna talk about World War Hulk not confirmed yet but I think it should be linked to Thor 5 so let me tell you why after I talk about Jane and Thor so let's go to Jane Jane has fought uh, cancer yeah as I was saying Jane has fought cancer and it is very dangerous for her to do this she couldn't fight the cancer because of Morgney she was holding Morgney it's actually Molnir sorry I was pronouncing it correctly correctly but it's written Mojnir. There's a J right? I'm pretty sure there's a J in Mojnir. Well I'm not sure. And uh, by the way uh, some people might be asking why did Thor give uh, love the have the what do we call it? The axe instead of the hammer. It's because the hammer is only for worthy people and love is not worthy. And we saw love can take out laser beams, this is pretty quick, cool. But back to Jane. Jane, like the mighty Thor as she is, it's great, great. She destroyed the spider monster so easily. And like Thor was getting pretty jealous. She has more in here. And well, you know the rest of the story if you've watched Thor Love and Thunder in the Dark World and also the first Thor movie. He also explained it Ragnarok. And don't worry, they talk about Jane and Thor's relationship. And Jane is like, not that good of a character. I like the part where Jane was trying to find out her catchphrase, which she says at the end when she was fighting Gore. Eat my hammer, which is pretty cool. But I prefer take this. Yeah, you got this? This is my hammer. Yeah, but uh, I guess that lands as well. It, I 
think that was supposed to be a joke, but it doesn't hit. And as we see uh, the rock guy, I forgot his name. Sorry. I think you Thor fans might not remember, but I don't. I'm a MCU fan in general, and I can't remember everything. He, uh, he has a friend uh, at the end, but we don't know how he got him. So, I think they should make a whole movie about him just. He's so hilarious. And yeah, let's go to Thor. I mean, Jane doesn't have much of a thing. But Jane has more entail than Thor. Like, Jane was more than a half of the movie. Thor was just a little part. Now, Thor has the axe. And it's pretty cool. He, he uh, destroyed the hairy villains and got those two screaming goats that I was talking about. I think they screamed seven times, which was annoying. Like, three times I liked it, but the other four times, it was super, 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 duper, 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 super, super, duper, super, duper, duper annoying. Yeah. And Thor is like a very cool character. And I loved the Guardians of the Galaxy in it, but they were for a very short time. And did you see that? The handshake thing, the one finger, the Asgardian handshake, the God's handshake, the uh, human handshake. Like, I think he is trying to do competition against uh, Spidey's handshake. So yeah, Thor was a very fun character, but he didn't get much screen time, even though it's his own movie. Like, and he kept me laughing. He was the only person that brought uh, the good jokes. And I and I thought better from Taika Waititi. I mean, how good did he make Ragnarok? He didn't make Love and Thunder that good. Taika Waititi messed up big time. So next, let's talk about Thor 5. Now, Thor 5, we know Hercules is a villain, but I don't want him to be the main villain. I know who I want to be the main villain to be. And that main villain is Gore from a different universe. Wait, no. Actually, no. Gore from a different universe would actually be pretty bad. Yeah, because we already got his uh, thing. So I think they should instead put Kang. Wait. No. That's Ant-Man, Quantumanian, and Avengers. Wait, let me think about this, actually. Oh, Zeus. Hercules teams up with Thor to defeat Zeus. Zeus, his own father. I know, insane theory. But let's go full out. And I think, like Ragnarok, they're gonna bring Thor. Sorry, Hulk. Hulk right here. Oh, I am the mighty Hulk. I think he's gonna take a crucial role in trying to defeat Hercules, but I think Hercules will be stronger as Hercules is the god of strength. And I think for Hercules, instead of, uh, they should get rock acting. But we, uh, from the end of uh, the movie, we saw somebody else acting, I don't know his name, but I think they should just take him out and then bring th Thor, because Thor has already played Hercules. I mean, he can do it again. Actually, no, it was pretty bad. I thought the movie was pretty bad. Actually, no, keep the acting. And it's uh, Hercules has got to have backstory. I think his backstory should be different from the comics. A lot different. But Hercules' backstory from the comics, I did not like. I think the backstory should be that he was born from Hercules, from Zeus, and then Zeus gave him some strength powers, and then he went out for his first war, and then like that, and then just went to Rome. But now he's back in Zeus' orders because uh, Zeus' army took control of him. That would be very good. Very, very good. And I think Thor should even lead up to World War Hulk if they make World War Hulk. Because it's going to be pretty cool after Hulk release, they bring World War Hulk. Like two strong people. And uh, th Thor 5 will have two strong people. Thor, uh, Hulk and... Uh, Hercules. I think they should bring She-Hulk there, in there. I think Hulk will bring She-Hulk to destroy Hercules, but they still lose and then they team up to destroy Zeus, which I think they should keep Zeus alive for an Avengers movie. 
because I think he's more of an Avengers threat because he's like very strong of a character. I mean, they can't just kill him in one movie straight. And Thor is not that strong to destroy God of all gods. And I think Zeus will bring some gods after Thor. Well, I mean, Thor is pretty strong and Hercules as well. I think Hercules should go rogue as well before Thor even says something to him. Uh, and But they don't team up, they still fight. And then uh, the Zeus will try to kill Hercules. But then they both will team up and then kill Zeus. Not kill, I said, Avengers. I think Avengers 6 because I think Avengers 5 should come in phase 5 and I think Thor should come at the end of phase 5. And then phase 6 starting, I think World War Hulk will be great. I changed my mind. I don't think they should put in Avengers 6 Zeus. I don't think he's that kind of level actually now. But I think like at the end of Thor, there should be a big war between Zeus, Thor, Hercules and uh, Hulk and then they leave it off. And then in World War Hulk, we will see that. And then Zeus uh, dies by Hulk, but then Hulk gets mad for some reason doesn't let Bruce come in and then he puts a whole army like a whole army of Hulk comes from the multiverse and then they team up to destroy the Avengers and every threat in the world and uh, the Avengers were getting in their way and I think one of the Avengers should all die one of the Avengers and I think that Avengers should be this person I think at the end Thor should lightning bolt him and then um the new Avengers show up. I think the new Avengers should show up in this because it's a very big threat. And the, so I think then Wanda's kids will start making him dizzy and then go and then Vision, Vision, White Vision will go for the big mighty punch with his ha with the Thor's hammer, which I think is cool. But I'll also think Hulk will return as I don't think he shall die I think he'll just go in like a coma and I think Bruce should uh, not be in here I think he should just be in like an AI a robot type thing they make a robot for Bruce so Bruce can like come into the world without changing from a Hulk and then they can find out some serum to make him Bruce and, uh, and I think the main villain should be Red Hulk. Like Red Hulk is playing the whole thing. Like Red Hulk made Hulk mad and then that's why Hulk teamed up with all these multiverse things. And then uh, when he goes in a coma, uh, Red Hulk shows himself and then destroys Thor. So tell me what you guys think. And also I think the bearded Hulk should also come as a big gladiator but I think he should run away instead of dying and I think Red Hulk should join the Avengers the Dark Avengers and Bearded Hulk should join the Avengers so yeah that's it that's it so bye I'll see you guys next time and one more thing go watch Thor's movie it's epic and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and share it to all your friends and I'm doing this with it's funny I add with I want to entertain you guys.